good afternoon good morning good evening okay today we are going to discuss another important etl testing interview question so write down the sql query to get the department wise lowest salary lowest salary so if you understand this data right we do have a four columns in the table one is employee id second name is first second column is first name third column is department id and fourth is salary so if you wanted to understand this right let's understand this at table level okay whenever we are going ahead and doing this particular thing right if you ask me if you if i ask you okay get me the maximum salary get me the lowest salary what you are going to do you are going ahead and you are going to query the data like this let's go to the sql and we'll understand will understand so let me take some sample like table okay so let's start from employees and pct okay let's understand this okay so here if you understand we do have a 107 records 107 records and we do have a different departments first if you wanted to get the overall salary if you are going ahead and doing the table level table level maximum salary maximum salary okay select maximum salary from employee table at the same time we'll write the another aggregate function that is called minimum minimum salary okay so these are the two queries we are going to execute it let's understand how it is going so maximum salary at table level what is that 25,000. What is the minimum salary? 120. Now, the question is, the question comes here, okay, get me the, get me the lowest salary department wise, department wise, okay. Let's understand this, how we are going to do that, how we are going to do that. So, so here, if you go ahead and do that, right, if you get, go ahead and do that, select, select department wise, department id comma comma you want maximum salary maximum salary okay maximum salary from table employee table and group by group by the department wise right you are going to group it so you are going ahead and doing the group group by department id so you want department wise maximum salary as well as minimum salary so here what i'm doing here i'm using the aggregate function i'm going ahead and i'm getting the details i'm going ahead and i'm getting the details now you can see here under department what is the value 100 25 is the maximum value so understand this understand this so if you go here in this data whenever you are going ahead and doing the maximum salary on table without using anything okay straight away it is going to take entire salary out of it what is the maximum value here what is the maximum value the ravindra Reddy, which is having two lakh ten thousand is the salary what is the minimum value satish which is having ninety thousand per month this is the way it is going to show but if i ask you department wise what is the maximum salary okay let's consider how it is going to take internally whenever you do group by group by department id first it is going to consider department 10 okay first three records it is going to belongs to department 10 and out of it what is the maximum salary again here it goes to like ten thousand. at the same time if you go here last four records one to six one to seven one to eight one to nine what is the maximum salary here you can see two lakh two lakh okay this is the way it is going to do that nothing but a, in the overall table it is going to take this particular pieces as a window window which means it is going to take based on values it is going to maximum it is going to pick it up first it is going to take first three records department 10 department 10 is the value and out of it what is the maximum salary two lakh ten thousand and after that department 20 you can see two lakh is the maximum salary maximum salary let's understand much more clear on this okay so how we are going to pick it up using this one we we use the aggregate function but i want second maximum salary department wise so can we get it using aggregate no we are not going to get so what we have to use we have to use some analytical function some analytical function how we are going to do that first let's stick to this question 
okay write down the sql query to get the department wise lowest salary let's go with it let's go with it okay so here we have done maximum salary first we'll go with the minimum salary min is the function okay min is the aggregate function and we are going ahead and we are going to check it up okay here we are going to see what is the minimum 100 6900 okay now along with minimum salary okay we want least minimum two salaries from each department level how we are going to get that first we'll achieve this whatever the functionality which we have done here same thing let's achieve after that we'll go with the next minimum two salaries minimum three salaries kind of okay first select so we are going to use the dense rank function select select department id let's copy this okay let's copy this select department id comma salary from select select department id comma salary comma salary then we'll go with the dense rank dense rank then over 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 in this okay we are going to do the partition by clause partition by clause okay once you use the partition by based on what you wanted to order it based on salary and based on salary you need not to use the desc the reason is we are going ahead and we are identifying the lowest salary lowest salary the clause whatever we have used function and internally whatever we are using over class we are making as a alias column name alias column name that column name salary rank okay from which table you are doing from this table employees tgt employees tgt okay once you have done this okay let's write it up in line view in line view here we are going to we are going to use the where sal rank equals to equals to one which is going to give you the department wise minimum salary department wise minimum salary if you understand if you understand this okay let's understand both queries will execute and we'll see can you see here okay department id first query which is nothing but a directly aggregate function 106900 here also 106900 here 33 2500 can we see 30 2500 so both are achieving same functionality what is the extra thing which we are going to see here see here suppose if i wanted to get the second minimum salary department wise okay now i can go ahead and i can give here second minimum salary but i can't achieve here because it is not going to give the window it is just going to give you the that particular value out of it max or min value out of it it is not going to give you the window that is the difference between article function and aggregate function and suppose if i wanted to go ahead and fetch even employee id employee id i can go ahead and do that in the in the article function employee id now same employee id i wanted to populate in the output as well output as well now if i wanted to populate same thing here okay in the aggregate functions along with that okay it's not feasible straight away straight away okay so it is going to create different way that is the reason we use always article function which is going to give you proper details and even if you want first name as well okay we can go ahead and we can do that we can do that let's do that here so that we'll understand much more detail much more detail i think here i have to give comma can we see here this is the thing which is going to happen now if i wanted to go ahead and do the third lowest salary as well i can go ahead and i can do that I can do that. So if you understand, okay, now previously we used to get, we have more uh, departments. Now we don't have, see here, now 12 departments are there. Out of it, if I can give third, a third lowest salary, okay, see some of the departments is not having more than two members. That is the reason we see 
it is the output is less okay the important thing which i wanted to say here okay first is okay if you wanted to get the minimum salary only department id you can go with this aggregate function route okay aggregate function route but if you want along with the details and along along with the details as well as if you wanted to find second minimum third minimum or fourth minimum then you have to use the dense rank article function dense rank article function so while you was while you are using dense rank article function if you wanted to do it based on specific column department wise right you have to use the partition by you have to use the partition by sir can we restrict only this in the single column or multiple columns can we use combination as well yes we can use in the partition by you can use even multiple columns as well and when it comes to order by can i use only single column no you can use n number of columns here the important thing is okay how group by works internally even partition by is going to work but partition by is having more scope of functionality okay whenever you do partition by it is going to give the window window specification window specification based on department values you are going to get that now if i can go ahead and if i ask you okay like this okay less than 3 less than 3 i can get more values here more values here It, you are not going to get only first minimum value second minimum value or third minimum value you can get n number of minimum values if you observe here first minimum value from 10 department 120 second minimum value 4400 but you can't get in the aggregate functions whatever we are achieving now we can't get in the aggregate functions that is the difference between that and this so we can use two way we can get two ways okay we can get two ways one is aggregate function level another one you can use the analytical function so best route best feasibility option is dense rank thank you guys thanks for your support for liking and commenting the videos